You know, it, it's it's weird because for me, like my my dad was so like it, it wasn't my mom that was overprotective. My dad was so overprotective. And so, you know, if I went to play in the street, you're going to get hit by a car. Don't you know, like I, I, I wasn't able to use his power tools until I was 23. You know what I mean? Because he was like, you're going to cut your hand off, you know. Um, so I had to buy my own. But what what happened for me to switch for me was I just got tired of being afraid. I got mm-hmm. just tired of being scared. And then for me, the the um so I, I tend to be really pragmatic. And so in in that's I would I, I, I was like thirteen and I was like, Well what what is what's the essence of fear and how does it how does it how does it how does it work? Mm-hmm. And when I found that whenever I was presented with an option the longer i took to access the option the more the fear grew so um like i was scared of girls and i was scared to dance and i was scared to you know i was scared of everything um so it so like i i tell this story all the time like if i went to a dance like sometimes to ask a girl to dance was paralyzing to me so when i walked in i would see somebody who i wanted to dance and i would go i would walk in the party and i would go do you want to dance i would go right to her what do you want to dance and she would go yeah yeah sure and i was like all right let me go put my coat down because i had literally just walked in and so dealing with the, the the speed in which i would access the opportunity like because the longer you take the more the fear your brain starts to eat you up and 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 your fear starts to grow and grow until you 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 literally paralyzed with the fear then it became a situation I, so so for me i was like well how does this work so as long as i access the 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 fear the the opportunity right away i could remove the fear the problem was that then that became how I operated on everything. Mm. So if I was in the street and some guy said, who the fuck are you? You ain't, I would punch him in the face. And then you start to realize, wow, everybody, nobody's, nobody really wants that smoke. You know, like, like people yap and they talk and stuff, but if you swing first, they crumble under the pressure because they were just faking it anyway. And then it made me understand that everybody has yeah, these insecurities. I was, was going to say, it's a really good point is that like everybody is fear-based. I yeah. think not everybody, but I think to a certain extent, we're all fear-based because I think if we really, life is ho- scary. <laughs> it's horrifying. Rejection is horrifying. And, yeah. um, you know, confidence can be horrifying. I mean, all of it. I think yeah. success, I think there's people that are afraid of success. I sure, think there's sure. people who are afraid of taking risks. I think that, you know, so I don't know. I, I get a lot of anxiety when it comes to relationships and I, long for the idea of being in one and then presented with it, I can, I start to like overwhelm myself and get really insecure. And what is it that scares you about being in a long-term relationship? Well, I think an easy answer is to be like, I'm trapped. And then the other answer is um, not being able to accept that someone likes me. Like I've noticed if a guy likes me too quickly, I'm suspicious. Yeah. We were just talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm sort of like more attracted to like a challenge or someone who's always a little out of reach. I don't know if that's because I don't like myself or I'm a comic and I like challenge. It's It's all these things. Definitely. Cause I mean, it, it, it boils down to not liking yourself because it's almost like, why would they be suspicious? If you think, if you recognize how awesome you are, then when you meet somebody, they're like, they, you can't, but you got to believe that you're awesome and, you, and you're just a dope person. So it just stands the reason that some, because you are so awesome that they would like you right away. Like, why would you not? I mean, it's, it's the difference in going, hey, do you want this $10,000 in cash or do you want this uh, 35 cents? In, in, you know what I mean? It just, it just right. doesn't, it doesn't make sense to not, want that you know so i i think um you know one of the things and and there's a lot of you know men in general who are going that they, they never look at the person that they think is judging them so for me another little technique is when somebody's criticizing me i always go well is this person does this come from a place of love or does this somebody trying to bring me down a notch and right. And, and, and as soon as I recognize that maybe 
it may not come from a place of love, then what I do a lot of times is I will start to pick this person apart. Like, what? what, what who are you? Who the fuck are you? Mm-hmm. Like, what did you accomplish? Like, who mm-hmm. are you? You're not really that interesting. You don't really look that good. You're not really that successful. You don't have really have any discipline. You're, like, how dare you think that you could judge me when you're such a piece of garbage? You so you're, just, you're a lot stronger than I am because I my instincts would not be like... I don't know if it's Catholic guilt and I feel like it's going to come bite me in the ass, but I never have the confidence to be like, you're nothing. And look what I've done. Cause I feel like, Oh, that's going to come bite me in the ass, <laughs> you know? So I just always like blame myself. Yeah. <laughs> Young man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first. Cause if you don't, they won't.